it's a case of goals change games, and when we, you know, I, I counted our first tackle, we put our first tackle in in 12 minutes, and it was a free kick, but at least we put one in. Um, we were a little bit off it today, didn't set the standards that we set last week, bitterly disappointing. Um, and then obviously, as I say, the goals change games, Kilmarnock got their goal from a free kick, a great ball in. Um, and then you're chasing it after that. We had plenty of ball, plenty, played some nice stuff, but it was too much in front of them. Give Kilmarnock credit, you know, they were solid, they were resolute in their shape. Um, and we just lacked a little bit of imagination to try and go and break it down. That, sometimes that happens, we, it's just a bit of individual magic that can go and do that. But uh, in terms of effort, commitment, uh, once again, the boys were absolutely different class. Just played too much football and we played too much in front of them. But, the reason that is is because Kilmarnock had, had that goal advantage. There's obviously a chance for Billy Mackay just after you score, it's a completely different game, tails are up and it just didn't go for you, did it? Yeah, it just didn't go for us, but um, we're better than what we showed today, so it was disappointing, but you know, in defeat you have to sit back, you have to analyse and reflect, and I've been in here, what, six weeks now, there's been ups and downs, and one thing I'll say, these boys are a wonderful bunch of boys. They're so disappointed. They set their own standards. They're into each other after the game about the standards when they set that we set last week. And you want to know someone? I had a wee meeting with them yesterday about a mindset about being slow starters for 15 minutes, and we talked about it. let's get right out, right out the traps, right on the blocks. That's how you've seen us taking a centre when we were right at them, um, just to be on a positive. And yet, you know, we lose that goal in what first 15, 20 minutes. So. It's bitterly disappointing, but even in defeat and the group that I've got in that dressing room and the characters that I've got in that dressing room, I think we'll be better for that defeat. I think sometimes you need to take one, a sore one, right on the chin to come back strong. And as long as you do and you learn from it, um, you'll be better for it. And it's my job to give them a better uh, shape uh, of the team, and which I think will help them go and win football matches. Possibly a bit of a learning curve before the two cup games that are coming up, not on league duty now. Until well, Christmas. really right at this moment in time, you know, the honeymoon period is, is truly, truly over. What I have to do now is first and foremost, trust me, Inverness at, the, at their best. And if we ever get away from the hard work, being the dogs in midfield, getting it harrowing, chasing lost causes, getting on our toe and getting our head in, working, doubling up for each other, we're not a great team. And I just felt that we'd maybe be getting carried away on, oh, football, football, football. Aye, we can pass the ball, but first and foremost, you have to be do the fundamental side of the job. And I just felt we were a little bit off it. Well, let's give credit where Kilmarnock were better at that than us in the first half. It seemed sometimes maybe a bit difficult to break them down. They had a lot of men behind the ball in, in both halves. Really. Yeah, and that's, that's where the goals are just getting behind it. And, you know, two banks of four, and we're, we're passing it and going side to side. And it's just a, a little bit of magic. You know, that wee slot pass or somebody coming up very creative uh, to go and do it. And, you know, we were wanting to be positive with, it, with, with our substitutes, but Marley, uh, um, sorry, um, Josh, Josh Meekins, you know, took a, took a knock to the head and a cut eye. Um, it really sort of threw us a wee bit. But even in the last 15 minutes, we just go for it, three man at the back and all that stuff. But as I say, in defeat, you have to sit back, analyse it, look at it, review it and say, right, what, what have I got and what can I do to put a team on the park that suits these players and will get us results? And I think we're not too far away from that. And getting results consistently, may I add. How is Josh Meekins? You mentioned him there. He obviously it hurt his, his eye, as you said, but he had a wee, a wee knock in the, in the leg for I think him. he took a wee twist to the ankle and uh, obviously the head clash and he's, he's got a, a cut just underneath the eyebrow. Um, so... You know, just in a delicate position, so he's at the hospital just to make sure that the stitching gets done right and there's no muscle damage. Um, and hopefully, thankfully, he'll be fit, ready to go for next week. So, if chances were you know, a bit of a premium today for your side, is it is it a bit of a worry or is it is it not too, too well, concerning for you? See, in football, we're doing the hardest thing in football. We're making the play. We we we're starting. We're making the play. We're passing it. We're switching the play. We're making it. And uh, you know, when you're doing that, you have to have you have to be very very good. So there's still work in progress, but we're probably jump two pages. We need to come back a couple of pages and make sure that we, everything that we do is for a clean sheet, solid base, uh, and go and go and uh, make sure we're fundamentally, you know, working harder than another team and have a real pride about doing that. I just feel maybe the mindset is 
oh, we're good football, we'll get on it, we'll pass it, that means I don't have to work and get stuck in and tackle. And I just, especially in the first 20 minutes, I felt that was the case. And, um, you know, hopefully yeah, we can learn from it and we can be better for it next week. We have to be if we want to go in, and I'm 100% convinced we will be. Uh, no, thank you very much. Okay, just you.